So we know that we can go long stocks by buying them. We can also buy calls. Even cheaper, we could buy call spreads. But did you know the cheapest option strategy out there to be bullish, bearish, or even neutral could be something called a butterfly strategy? Let's spread our wings on this beautiful day behind me here, and let's explore the butterfly trade. Hello, this is Mike Wade, Chief Option Strategist for Tom Gentile, and welcome to this video. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how you can spread your wings with butterflies, a very sophisticated option strategy for high probability range-bound trading. Well, first off, what the heck's a butterfly and how do you make them? Well, let's start with an example. Here is a three-legged butterfly. It just happens to be on GLD, and a butterfly is a three-legged trade. This is also a vertical spread. Notice that all the expiration dates are all in the same month, April 24th, 2020 in this case. I'm using all calls and I'm buying one, selling two and buying one. So really this is a three-legged trade comprised of two main components. The first component is a bull call spread in which we're buying one of the April 24, 152.5 calls and selling one. One of these two is a sell for the balance of this bull call spread where we're selling one of the April 24, 162.50 calls. That's half the butterfly. The other half of the butterfly is a bear call spread where we're selling another call at 162.50 and protecting that short call with a long call right above at 172.50. So this three-legged trade ends up costing us $5 per contract $5 per butterfly for a total of $500. That entry debit of $500 is also our maximum risk. That's an important distinction. Remember, you can only lose what you invest in a butterfly. That is your maximum risk. In this particular butterfly, we have a chance to make a 100% return on that risk of $500 of maximum profit. We have these break-evens that I'll cover in just a second. So all of this isn't really that exciting yet until you take a look at a risk graph. So here's a risk graph of a butterfly. You can see why it's called a butterfly when you consider this part of the risk graph, the head, and that, and that, the wings of the butterfly. The profit in this risk graph is to the right of this vertical line here. This is your break-even line. And the profit in this trade resides right in here in the witch's hat or the head of the butterfly. The loss is in the wings. The profit is in the head. I'm going to color code this area here called the profit zone. And the butterfly has these break-evens I referenced before. And as long as the stock stays within the break-evens or in this green area, the backyard, time will work for us and actually start making us money. So butterflies make money as time occurs. In this particular case, we have an 11-day butterfly. So the red line is 11 days. That's today. That will always be today, depending on the day you're looking at the risk graph. The blue line is eight days to go, the green line four days to go, and the black line expiration. This is your butterfly at expiration. Maximum profit in a butterfly resides right there at the tip of the witch's hat, and that's only going to occur if the stock price is exactly at the middle strike price on expiration. Not normally going to happen in a butterfly. All right, so once you get into a butterfly, it's important to understand when to get out of a butterfly. So let's talk about that really quickly. First off, given that we're not going to probably get maximum profit on a butterfly, one of the rules of thumb is that when you get down to about three days or so, two to three days before expiration, you want to think about taking your butterfly off. Another I like to use is if I get 50% of my maximum profit, then I tend to want to take these off under most cases. So that's for a profit. And now for a loss, the most important, and this is really what makes butterflies really beautiful, if you exit the butterfly when the stock breaks outside of the backyard or the dog jumps the fence, notice here you won't lose very much. So if the stock, for example, closed just above 167.50, maybe it goes to 168 or something, then look at that. You're only losing maybe 20, 30 bucks on this trade to the upside, maybe a bit more to the downside maybe about $75 to the downside. So your risk is very well contained if you use this exit rule. If the dog jumps the fence, take off your butterfly for a small loss. That for me is easily the best part about butterflies. Now, of course, the stock could gap severely in either direction and that could leave you at maximum risk in a butterfly. So that is a possibility, although not very common. So let me highlight how these things actually make money because they're really beautiful once you understand that they make money as time comes out of the position. 
So here's an example of a butterfly we did on the gold ETF, the GLD. GLD had been struggling with this resistance level right here about 159. And notice a resistance, a bounce there, two bounces there, a bounce there, a high volume spike. So there was some movement, a gap up, touching resistance, settling beneath resistance. And then it broke through above 160 right there. And the expectation was that gold was probably going to rise a little bit, maybe go up to 165 or so, but this was going to be a new range. So this was the trade that we put on. This is the one I've already covered with you, but we bought one of the April 24, 152.50 calls, sold two of the 162.50 calls, and bought one of the 172.50 calls for $500. These are the same break-evens I've already talked to you about. And here's what the trade looked like when we entered the trade. Again, we have our profit zone here. The exit rules on this one were if the stock were to close on either side of these break-evens outside of the green zone, we were going to pull this one off. Otherwise, we were going to wait until a few days before expiration. This is exactly what happens. Now, I want you to keep an eye on these colored lines. The red line is going to be today, and I'm going to advance this forward day by day, and you're going to see what happens to these colored lines. This is how butterflies make money. Let's go forward one day. Notice here, the stock moved up one more day. Stock stayed the same. Notice here that we have our blue line. The red line is starting to collapse, as are the other color lines, into profit. Our profit is listed down beneath here. So there's our profit. We have a profit after a few days. Advance it forward another day. Stock pretty much stayed the same. Time's working for us. More profit. The next day, the stock gapped down, but it's still within the backyard. So we don't, we don't do anything here. There's our lower break even. We still have some profit in the trade. The stock goes up a little bit, more profit comes back into the trade. We test the support level here, we have some profit. And then on this day, the stock gaps up and we exit on this day here, the stock very close to the short strikes and we end up on this trade with a $258 profit with $500 of actual risk in the trade. So that was over a 50% profit on this gold butterfly. Now here's the best part. What happens when they lose? Here's the trade that we did on USO. This is a butterfly as well. We had this big volume spike right there as oil was getting hammered in April during the coronavirus pandemic. We're still in the pandemic, but this is when oil was really taking it on the chin. And we expected oil was gonna stay beneath $4 for the next handful of weeks. And we constructed this butterfly. We use puts here. You can use puts or calls. The risk graphs are the same. So we bought one of the May one 450 puts, sold two of the 350 puts, bought one of the 250 puts for $40 with a maximum profit on the trade of 150%, maximum profit of 60 bucks with some nice break evens. Look at this beautiful risk graph. So even if oil was going to drop further from here, it seems like we had such a nice range here that this was really a beautiful setup. Our profit zone was very wide. This, there was plenty of room for oil to dance, even drop a bit further. Nobody really expected it to drop much further, which is why we put on a butterfly. But this is what actually happened. A few days later, oil actually dropped to below zero. Seemingly impossible, but it happened. The stock broke outside of the backyard here, and we exited the trade for only a $16 loss. Again, using these break-evens as exits gives us a really nice low risk loss exit on these beautiful butterflies. So here's the current example I'm looking at on Nike. Stock symbol is NKE. The reason this got my attention is right here on this day, Nike came out with earnings and their sales were terrible. The bad news came out, the stock tanked. There was actually a lot of volume on that, that spanking day. But there was also strong support at 94. Notice this support level at 94. The stock came down, closed at 94, just below 94, and then bounced up a little bit and has been meandering in this range here. We also say resistance at 102. So this is a really nice range-bound stock for a stock that's announced its bad news and doesn't seem poised for any further downside in a perfect application for a butterfly. So this is a Nike butterfly. The legs are to buy one of the July 24 90 puts, sell two of the July 24, 97 puts, and buy one of the July 24, 104 puts for $2.80 a contract. That whole trade will cost you $280 per butterfly, a maximum profit in this trade of $420, or a 150% potential return on investment. Here's the risk graph, and notice how beautiful this risk graph is. You can see our break-evens, which again are 92.80 and 101.20, 
We have this nice backyard here. The stock can move around quite a bit over the next 17 days. And as it does that, as provided it stays in this backyard, then we're looking at making money as time ticks away over the next couple of weeks. Again, exit this trade if the stock closes outside of these break-evens. Another good exit point is if you realize half of your maximum profit, which is 75% in this case, if you can sell your butterfly for 75% more than you bought it for, so multiply 2.8 times 1.75, and that would be your exit in the event you were filled on this trade for 280, and then exit the trade for a very nice 75% profit over the next couple of weeks. So in summary, you want to find stocks that you expect to stay within a particular range. Use 14 to 21 day options. You can use calls or puts. The risk graphs are the same for the most part. Exit if the stock breaks outside of the break-evens or the dog jumps the fence, and then exit with three days before expiration. Hey, well, thanks, Mike, and thanks to all of you who watched. If you liked this video, give me some love. Give us some love. Hit that little like button down there. Make that thing turn blue. And also, if you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell, the notification bell, then you will be notified every time we upload a new video. Thanks again. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye now.